Palm Sunday is a wonderful celebration. And as we come together this morning for this sixth Lenten Sunday, it's important for us to involve ourselves in knowing what this living word completion is for us. And as we explore our talk, Experiencing Fulfillment, we'll see the value and guide of this awakening us to our Christ consciousness. Let's begin by turning to our 2021 Lent booklet, Release and Renew, and these words by Reverend Mark Anthony Lord. Declare your good with power and conviction. Dare to refuse to settle. Refuse to give any substance to the lesser thoughts and refuse to see yourself as a victim. Say no to believing yourself anything but the full glory of God and the fulfillment of the new you. Now this is wisdom that's metaphysically looking at the power of this day. Now, the history is Palm Sunday. This was Jesus coming to Jerusalem in an answer and fulfillment of the prophecy in the Old Testament. Isaiah said the Messiah would come in on a donkey, and that's exactly what Jesus did. Now, we know that the people, the swarms of people who are eagerly anticipating their king because they saw this as a proclamation of now all of our am all of our enemies are going to be conquered well didn't quite happen that way but there was so much excitement and celebration this day i imagine just like in maui the young boys would come by and say could i get the coconuts out of those trees in our front yard, and they'd scamper up the palm tree with amazing dexterity and get those coconuts. So I imagine in ancient Jerusalem, the young men scampering up the palm trees to look, is he here yet? Is he coming? Is he coming? And they're showering down palm branches because it was a hot day. And so as Jesus came into town, the excitement of the moment was a fulfillment. Now, as we look at this metaphysically, it's ours to know that it's not done, finished type of a completion. It's a fulfillment that's a flow. I want to in introduce these ideas of how to reach fulfillment, how to arrive at fulfillment. Well, the first one is to live in the now moment. Become fully present. This can help by breathing, by prayer and meditation, by opening our heart space, taking that distance from our head to our heart and being here now. The second one is turn away from our attachment to things. A car is a great thing for driving, but we don't need to be attached to it as a form of our identity. The clothes we wear, the house we live in, the stuff is not the place where we're going to be fed. It's not where we're going to have our ultimate fulfillment. Yes, it's satisfying. It can provide comfort and luxury but it cannot give us spiritual fulfillment. The third is connect with God through our Christ nature. We have our Christ consciousness. It's always been with us. It's our unifying factor. 
And this is where we connect with the mystery of God, the awesomeness of God in our prayer, our meditation, our breath, our intuition, our creativity, and our love. This keeps us experiencing fulfillment. And the last is to choose to actively serve others. There's nothing we can do that more powerfully melts away our troubles than being of service. This was example by our master teacher over and over and over again to help the young, to help the animals, to help the planet, to help our loved ones and our enemies. We can be of service coming from our heart because we recognize that divine spark in everyone. I have a scriptural passage to help us bring light to this. It's Psalm 37, 4. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. This is exactly where our fulfillment lies. And if we want to experience fulfillment by stepping into and being fully present in the now moment, it's here where we can separate ourselves from the material things, from the relative world, turn within, connect with God, and find active ways to be of service, opening ourselves to the value of this journey. Now, fulfilling the desires of our heart is not just getting the next bright, shiny thing. It's receiving satisfaction, receiving contentment, relaxation, receiving time to enjoy living. These are wonderful desires that match the frequency and energy that God always is. Now, I have some wonderful wisdom that I want to shine some light to as we continue this discussion from Martin Luther King Jr., who says, occasionally in life there are those moments of unutterable fulfillment which cannot be completely explained by those symbols called words. Their meanings can only be articulated by the inaudible language of the heart. This is where our heart center, our center of being with our Christ consciousness, is a powerful point of being. All of these Lent Sundays has brought us to this one knowing that it's within us, and it's part of us, and we find it in our center right now. And it's so true that we experience those amazing moments in the flow when things just work out perfectly. When we've been ready for one thing to happen and something much greater happens for us. This happens in so many ways. In my own life, it happened in the searching searching, searching for a puppy. And all the breeders were fully booked and finding the way to arrive at it was to stop. Stop all the searching and just know that the right puppies would come in the right time. And when I relaxed and let go, Amazing thing happened. Two miniature poodles popped up on Craigslist because someone's mom decided to breed her puppies. And this was so easy. So the same day I saw it on Craigslist, 
we had two puppies. And they're the light of my life. And I didn't even know that this would bring such love and joy and peace into my life. Also, a lot of chaos and some sleepless nights. But it's all part of this journey. And when I come to really recognizing it, I recognize unaudible joy, deep love, and satisfaction for what I'm able to receive by being in relationship with two beautiful puppies. Alan Cohen is a great writer, and I got to know him because he used to live on Maui. He says here, completion is an attitude, not an event. This is profound because, yes, we complete a test, we complete a job. There's that type of completion. But when we're looking at spiritual completion, it's an attitude. This is the attitude that Jesus took when he rode into Jerusalem to complete a huge, big idea of a journey, of awakening us to the tree deep truth. Now, when we take our fulfillment and our completion as a spectrum, because isn't it true that every completion is really the beginning of a new beginning, the start of a new beginning? And so put your completion, put your fulfillment and life on that spectrum rather than an event. In my case, getting the puppies was just the beginning. Then there's a whole lot of feeding and walking and bathing and caring and grooming that goes along with it. So the fulfillment is on a spectrum. And it's an attitude. Because when we have that attitude, when we're in the present, when we're connected with our source of being, we're ready and equipped to experience fulfillment in our lives. And our own Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity, says, in spirit, all things are fulfilled now. The moment a concept enters the mind, the thing conceived is consummated through the law that governs the actions of ideas. Quite frankly, this is our third principle. What we think, what we believe creates our experience. It's the law. As soon as we think it, it's already resonating with the law of, in God's world. This is how we co-create with God. And if we're co-creating with God with our thought and our feeling, it's a good idea for us to be conscious of what we're thinking and feeling so that we're creating the life we want to live. This is why I gave you those four steps for experiencing fulfillment in your life because this is how we come together with it. And it's all bringing us to the ultimate life goal of gratitude of praise, of what we're celebrating for Palm Sunday. Hosanna, this time of praise. We have all that we need to live our life in grand fulfillment. So for the handout, in case you did print it out, or if you didn't print it out, you could just use any piece of paper or just set it on your heart. What we're going to do for our Palm Parade of Praise is ask the question, what do you give praise for? What are you grateful for? What do you have 
a thank you in your heart for in your life. And you write down those things you're grateful for on the leaves of the palm or just list them on a piece of paper as we enter into this time of meditation. The Unity Singers will bring music in the wonderful song Come Together as One, recorded June 23rd, 2019. <laughs> As we prepare for this palm meditation, we open our heart to gratitude. We turn within. And as we breathe and relax and come into a deep confidence of the now moment, we set aside everything else and open our heart to what are we in praise for? What do we have the light of gratitude for? What do we say thank you, God, for? And as you breathe and turn on that light of gratitude, let's experience a moment of quietness and simply ask the question, what am I grateful for? And write it down in the leaves of the palm on your handout or on a piece of paper or set it on your heart. Let's acknowledge that there is much in our lives that we're grateful for. It could be our home, our loved one, our job, our relaxation, our health, our healing, 
our renewal. Spring. Fulfillment. Peace. Let whatever comes to you be your guide as we enter this time of silence. There are so many things for us to be grateful for. And gratitude is one of the greatest prayers we can affirm in our lives. And although we're bringing this meditation to an end, at any point you can return to the quiet, and contemplate what are you grateful for? What do you say Hosanna and praise for in your ongoing experiencing of fulfillment? As we awaken to this present moment now, we come back into the presence by wiggling our fingers, our toes, by rolling our head, and when we're ready, we open our eyes and say this affirmation that goes with today's discussion. In quietness and in confidence, I find my fulfillment. In quietness and in confidence, I find my fulfillment. In quietness and in confidence, I find my fulfillment. And so it is. Step about on the water. Release your faith. Every step is stronger. Step out on the water.